just having these untruths being perpetuated about kangaroos being on the verge of extinction when we've got hundreds of thousands of kangaroos just dying out in Australia's deserts, probably millions all up, and you just walk around out in the scrub and there's a smell of death and it's, it's really distressing and walking past kangaroos that are too weak to get up and, and walk, there's just not enough food for them. The kangaroo, not only just as a food source, but as a totem, as an emblem, is very important to our people. And to see them going to waste, it really saddens our people. It's too late for a lot of these kangaroos now. There's just so many of them out there, it's, it's impossible to get around and feed them, even to euthanize them all. Uh, these should have been managed a long time ago, so we're not talking about a knee-jerk reaction to a drought, we're talking about long-term sustainable management for the welfare of the kangaroos and the country. These impacts of high numbers of kangaroos are occurring across national parks, across agricultural land and especially pastoral country as well. If we're not managing our kangaroo numbers, that's threatening their existence, it's threatening the existence of a whole lot of other animals. So they're removing a lot of the understory from the, from the vegetation communities and so that's exposing animals to predators. It's a lot harder for things to hide from cats and foxes. And there's also less food because they're eating all the palatable plants that produce all the seed. I can show people examples of the plants where they've been bonsai'd from heavy browsing by grey kangaroos, western grey kangaroos, for the last uh, 10 to 15 years or so. So we're losing our biodiversity as a consequence of failing to take adequate action, both in terms of the amount of habitat and failing to look after the bits of habitat that we've got left. Something that Australians have really got to come to terms with, that uh, we really need to manage our kangaroos in order to manage our conservation estate. And really one of the best ways to do that is to eat more kangaroos. And if you don't eat them, at the moment the numbers just build up to really high levels and then when you have a drought, a lot of them have a really slow, painful death from starvation. We're advocating for harvesting kangaroos when they're in good condition, before they started suffering like this and before the country started suffering. We should be harvesting healthy kangaroos and keeping their populations healthy and the environment healthy. It's ethical, kangaroos are free range, they're organic and if you cook the meat the right way it tastes amazing. The best way of looking after these kangaroos is when they're still healthy, ethically harvesting them with accredited hunters rather than having to put them down when they're already suffering and already ruined the environment. I'd love to debate anybody who could point to a, a form of, of meat production that was more ethical than kangaroo harvesting. Overseas countries will often come and complain because they say, oh, kangaroos are endangered and threaten this country. The ones that are causing the damage clearly are not threatened. You know, I think we just have to wake up that reality is that we do need to do something now um, and the solution is one which might not be palatable to all of us but it can be implemented and has been implemented and in many cases it might actually secure the uh, well-being of kangaroos into the future. Seeing two or three kangaroos is great, seeing two or three hundred kangaroos is not so good. Seeing two thousand kangaroos dying in, under the trees, it's really sad, it's really quite depressing and it's really wrong. We should know better than that, we should do better than that. Poor old Ruse had his eyes pecked out by the crows and there's two eagles just here as well, starving to death. When people are saying, oh poor little Skippy, well this is about looking after poor little Skippy. If we do not look after them, Poor little Skippy is skinny and hungry and starving. This is real what we're talking about, this is factual. And that's a problem and a concern for us. Mm -hmm.